The arrest report said, quote, the juvenile defendant advised he was told to shoot victim blank or his family would be killed. Whoa, I'm back. I'm Van and we are all the LFR family. Now, look, I'm not going to get all upset and angry black man with y'all today. I'm, I'm not. At least I'm going to try not to. <laughs> but we are about to discuss something that I need for you to show your children. I need for you to share this because that's the only way people will get the information is if you share. It. There was three teens in Florida who killed three teens in Florida. Here's what happened. Little kids wanting to do mis mischievous things. They wanted to smoke some weed. They wanted to see some guns. They wanted to hang out with some gangsters. They wanted to live the gangster life, so to speak, right? So they got all of their friends together and they decided to drive to, um, to a place where, to a neighborhood where they sold these type of um, things. They wanted to hang out with the gangsters. They wanted to live the life that they hear about in the rap songs. That's what they wanted to do. They wanted to see it for themselves. They wanted to touch it. They wanted to get so close that they can touch it. That's what they wanted to do. Let me tell y'all something, man. Stay out of the darkness. And I'm not talking to the grown folk who are watching this, unless you are one of those people who have an issue with staying away from things that are bad for you. But your children need to see this because this was your children. This was people, children who decided to live on the dark side and they ended up losing their lives from actual children. One of the children who committed these these heinous crimes was 12 years old, 12, 16 and 17 years old. That's the ages of the individuals who decided to kill all three of the teenagers and just dump their bodies in Florida. I need y'all to understand me when I, when I tell you this. They need to stay away from this BS, right? It's not cool to be a part of it. It's not cool to experience it or be able to tell a story. Yo, I went to the hood and I hung out with such and such and we were at a trap house and we, and they was, and they had guns and they had drugs and they had girls in there doing, doing crazy things. Get off of that BS, man. It's, it's not cool. It's not all that fun either. <laughs> it really isn't. It really isn't. But we're going to check this out. That is right. I continue to dig through these documents tonight. And according to this arrest report, the three teenage victims were involved in illegal activities with their three suspected killers before the suspects turned on them and dumped their bodies. Video from the Marion County Sheriff's Office shows 17 year old Robert Robinson arrested and put in a squad car. He's one of the three people accused of killing the Marion County teenagers. A 12 year old who Fox 35 is not naming and a 16 year old Taj Bruton are also suspects. Seeing this young man's face right here. Let me cut this caption off. Seeing this young man face. This one, it hurts my heart, man, because, oh my gosh, I coached basketball. You wouldn't believe how many youngins I know who look almost just like this young dude right here. And he decided to take someone's life, not one, not two, but three people's lives for whatever reason. Him and his friends thought it would be cool to... I mean, I, okay. First of all, I, and I'm gonna I'm finish this before we go back to this story. There is no right way to do a wrong thing. Okay, there's no right way to do a wrong thing. Yeah, we do know that criminals get better when they do more criminal activity. Okay, but that don't mean they're doing it right because it's not righteous, right? And it's still gonna lead them to something if they get caught. So doing something wrong is i don't care how great you're doing this thing there's no right way of doing it and these young people and and just let me add this too the three victims who were killed were all white young young kids all white i think they was like 16 17 years old themselves and they wanted to live on the dark side that's what they want to do they want to live on the dark side and they decided to hang out with these young men this young man being one of them and he's the 16 year old the 17 year old was the very first one that they were walking to the squad car when the video first came on and there's a 12 year old where i don't think they're going to show his picture because apparently he's too young to show but there's no right way to do a wrong thing okay we need to get out of our heads thinking that if we um everyone else is out there doing it 
So many people are just killing people at the drop of a dime. These youngins say we can do it too. And, that, and they don't care about getting caught. They don't care about spending time in jail. They believe that since I'm under the age of 18, it's just going to be a slap on the wrist anyway. Whatever. Yeah, I get to get a tattoo now. I get to, you know, act like I'm a real gangster now because we kill somebody. And also, a lot of times, killing innocent people is something that you have to do in order to get into a gang. Yeah. So... <sighs> According to the arrest affidavit, the suspects and victims were together the night they were killed. One of the victim's phones had pictures of themselves and a suspect showing off weapons and ammunition. They were believed to be smoking weed at what deputies called a trap house where illegal drugs are sold. Yeah, I hear that, right? The little kids, they just wanted to, they wanted to do some dangerous stuff. They wanted to chill with their friends in the hood take pictures of themselves smoking weed, take pictures of drum, of, of, of them holding guns. They probably like, can I hold that? Can I take a picture with it? That will give me so much street cred at school. And look at them. Investigators say they plan to rob someone for weed and one of the victims, Layla Silvernail, was driving her car with the other victims and suspects inside. Simple terms, there is no honor among thieves. That's right. There's no honor amongst thieves. thieves. And at some point, these three individuals turned on our three victims and murdered them. Investigators say while interviewing the 12-year-old suspect, he told them they picked up Taj Bruton, who was wearing a ski mask. The 12-year-old claims Bruton shot Silvernail and a 17-year-old boy and claimed he was forced to shoot the third victim. The arrest report said, quote, the juvenile defendant advised he was told to shoot victim blank or his family would be killed. Whoa. Whoa. So the 12 year old is snitching on everybody. The 12 year old that they can't show the picture to can't show the picture of the 16 year old and the 17 year old told them to kill one of them. They gave him a gun. They said, put in work, go ahead, kill one of them. And if you don't kill one of them, then we're going to kill your family. So they are bullying a 12 year old that's with them to kill one of the innocent. Young oh my goodness, man, this is crazy. This is nuts. Oh, Lord. And when investigators questioned Robinson, the report says, quote, when asked why he shot victim blank, defendant Robinson stated because she was still alive. She was going to snitch on us all. We was all going to go to jail for life. Silvernail's body was found Thursday on the side of the road. Wow. That will break my heart. Excuse my French. Those of us who have children, we have no choice but to put our children, our grandchildren, our nieces and nephews in these situations. People that we love, people that we care about. We, we put them in those situations and just imagine what if it's imperative that we let these young people know that it's not fun. Just it's not fun to be out there trying to live that gangster life it's not and guess what for the people who are there living it it may look fun to you they might be laughing and joking and all that nah they just trying to make the best of whatever situations they're in that's what they're doing because the same way that that 12 year old was was forced by his friends to shoot those innocent kids that, that was there trying to live whatever type of gangster life with them, the people that, the two youngest that forced the 12 year old to do it, they was probably forced to do it when they was 12 years old. It was so easy for them to kill because they've killed before probably. Think about that. That don't just pop up in your head that, you know, let's force them to kill these youngest. No, hurt people hurt people. And they are doing exactly to that young, to the youngest one that was done to them. You mean to tell me that the trigger man that shot two people was 12 years old? Come on, man. The 17-year-old boy was found a half mile away in a ditch on Friday in a ski mask and a bloody gardening glove on his hand. The third victim found Saturday in the trunk of Silvernail's car that appeared to be pushed into a lake nine miles away near the trap house. They took a life without thought. 
They deserve the full extent of the law. There is a $10,000 reward for anyone with information that can help Bruton here. If you can have that info, call the sheriff's office. In the studio, Stephanie Lafmonte, Fox 35 News. So they got two of them. They got two of them and they're still looking for one. They got two and they're still looking for one at this point. And that youngin is going to cut his hair. Um, his family is going to hide him and they're still going to find him. They're still going to end up finding him. You know what I mean? <sighs> wow. Prayers go out to the young people who was, who was killed in this. Prayers go out to the young people who committed these heinous crimes. Satan is busy. That's all I'm going to say. Satan is busy. 